Hello everyone, this is Irina of Better Than This School. As I go online and I've been picking my brain today to make a second video, a language video about phrases, German phrases with body parts. I'm trying to figure out a way to put this so that um, I, ha I can get better lighting. Right, let's, do, let's try to do this. Yeah, because I really want to make this video. Uh, so I, I've, I've, been, I've been going on all day long with this idea that I need to make two videos in one day so that I can post them at um, different times because I don't always have the ability to do that daily. So I hope this works. Okay, brilliant. So uh, I've been picking my brain, picking my brain, um, thinking about some funny, quirky phrases in German with body parts. So if you are a uh, English speaking expat or uh, just a learner or just a curious mind, um, this video is going to be about these phrases. Um, 10 of my favorite phrases, yeah, because I have a document with 20 pages of it. But I try to choose those that I like best and um, some of them I also use um, kind of like on, the day, on a daily basis, almost. Okay, so um, because I'm very busy all the time, I'm going to start with having a lot on your plate. So how do we say in Deutsch, I have a lot on my plate. Ich habe viel um die Ohren. Ich habe viel um die Ohren. So around my ears. I have a lot. So in English we say I have a lot on my plate. In German we can say that I have a lot around my ears. Feel um die Ohren. Um, something related to that, you know, if, you, if you're always um, in, a, in a hurry, if you're always uh, in a rush, you can say uh, Hals über Kopf. Die sind Hals über Kopf geflohen. They fleed um, head above um, you know, a neck above head. So, it's, yeah, neck above head, it's kind of like a weird image, but uh, it means exactly this, to, to be in a hurry. Um, but it can, it can also mean uh, the phrase in English, head over heels. Yeah, Hals über Kopf verliebt in love. So it has two meanings. Okay. Um, if you want to say about somebody that they are... Um, kind of block head so they don't really understand much, uh, they're simpletons, you can say that they have a board or a plank in front of their head. Brett vor dem Kopf haben. Na, Mensch, hast du, hast du Brette vor dem Kopf? Warum verstehst du das nicht? So, do you have uh, planks in front of your um, uh, head? Why can't you understand this? Okay, so to be a block head. Simpleton. Brett vor dem Kopf haben. Okay, next one. Uh, I'm gonna stay in the area of the head. Um, den Nacken steif halten. Den Nacken steif halten. So uh, this would be to keep it, uh, your chin up. So in English we say with the chin, chin up. Um, Germans say it with um, the um, nape, which has to remain rigid. You have to keep. Um, oh, a bird. Yeah, sorry. I'm very, I'm very happy because we have, we finally have spring here. Um, it was very dark and gloomy this morning, so I'm really, really happy spring is here. Finally, in uh, this evening. So I don't know about tomorrow morning, but this evening is here. So anyway, uh, the Nacken steif halten to keep your chin up. Man muss den Nacken steif halten und um, sich an die Arbeit machen. You have to keep your chin up and. Um, Get on with your work. Okay, um, the next one is something related to um, keeping your dignity. Auf der Nase herum tanzen. If someone is dancing around your nose, auf der Nase, uh, this means they are walking all over you, which is something really bad if you let it happen. Um, let me think of an example. Um, also, um, 
Er hat mir immer auf der Nase herumgetanzt und ich habe die Nase voll. Uh, I use twice the word Nase. So he he always uh, he's he's always been walking uh, all over me and now uh, my uh, I've had enough with him. My, ich habe die Nase voll. This is another phrase. This is a bonus. This is another phrase with nose. Um, I'm fed up with him. So, auf der Nase herumtanzen. Jemandem auf der Nase herumtanzen means to walk all over um, someone. Okay. If you are clumsy sometimes, like I am in these videos, so I'm going from an idea to another sometimes because I have so many ideas in my head that I cannot focus on just one. Um, you can say about someone that they have two left hands, zwei linke Hände haben. I think in English you can also say to be all thumbs, if you can't. Well, this is um, uh, rather with reference to practical things. I mean, if you drop things, if you keep dropping things, um, you can say that you, you are all thumbs, you are very cumbersome. So man hat zwei linke Hände. Uh, the next one is about a beard and is one of my favorite. Um, and it uh, goes like this. Um des Kaisers Bart streiten. Oder sich um des Kaisers Bart streiten. Um, if this, you can say this so that you are fighting, quarreling uh, about the emperor's beard. Um, if you are quarreling about things which are really not that important. Um, naja, zum Beispiel, for example, um, ich mag es nicht, wenn ich um, mich mit meinem Freund um des Kaisers Bart streiten, wie zum Beispiel, weil er das Geschirr nicht abgespült hat. So I, I don't like it when we uh, fight, when I fight with my friend uh, about the emperor's beard, so for nothing, um, because, for example, he didn't do the dishes. Yes, just argue about um, um, these very simple, insignificant things that one should not be arguing about at all, um des Kaisers Bart. Um, and speaking of arguing, quarreling and so on, um, if someone does not mince any words, so they talk without thinking, you can say that they do not take any, uh, any leaf or any paper um, before their mouth. Kein Blatt vor der Mund nehmen. Er schimpft die ganze Zeit, uh, er nimmt kein Blatt vor den Mund. So he, he, he swears all the time and he does not mince any of his words. Kein Blatt vor den Mund nehmen. All right. Um, the next one is also something I like because it's, it's something that I always do um, because I'm a rather anxious person, which is why I freak out a lot. Um, and in uh, German, we can say aus der Haut fahren. So to get to, to get um, um, off your skin or something like that, to get out of your skin. Um, ja, als ich die Rechnung gesehen habe, bin ich aus der Haut gefahren. When I saw the bill, I, I just freaked out. I, I lost it completely. Aus der Haut fahren. All right. Um, and I'm going to end this video with, um, with a phrase and message about honesty, about how important it is to always say um, things um, with, you know, uh, in all sincerity, frank, to speak frankly, uh, as Germans do, because Germans tend to be very direct people and I, it's something that I really appreciate. So this means that you can speak from your liver, frei von der Leber weg. Frei von der Leber weg etwas sagen, to say something free out of your liver. Um, because the liver used to be, um, in some ancient cultures of the past, used to be the um, uh, headquarters of emotions. That's why you have to, you know, let let go, let your let your liver breathe by letting go of all these thoughts and feelings you have. Also, 
man muss frei von der Leber weg sagen. Okay, hope you enjoyed these uh, phrases. Um, if you want more phrases, I will make more videos about them because idiomatic expressions are, I think, my favorite part in um, learning a language. And if you if you know how to use um, some of these idiomatic expressions, it is definitely a great enrichment for your uh, vocabulary. And the more you use them, the more um, natural they will become to you. Thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in um, either German, Swedish, Germanic languages or videos about uh, history, in particular about uh, Vikings and Norse mythology, mythology, please like and subscribe. Uh, thank you so much for watching.